enjoy that. You hate, you deserve it. You really do. Normally, told um, I'm the first to criticize EA when they don't, uh, you know, they don't give career mode the the um, the respect it deserves because it it does it deserves respect because Ultimate Team hasn't always been around. You know, people will think, oh, FIFA is just for Ultimate Team. No, Ultimate Team has only been around since what 2009, FIFA 9, FIFA 10. Something like that. So, what, 10, 11 years? Career mode has been pretty much there from the beginning. And before Ultimate Team, a lot of people who are now who are solely um, playing Ultimate Team played to career mode. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, ever since Ultimate Team came into the picture, Career mode hasn't really gotten, has been kind of put to the side, treated like it was absolutely nothing, treated like it was garbage, and EA just didn't care. They didn't care. They didn't really consider, like, they they would add some things, like, they added training, they um, um, and stuff like that, but realistically, they didn't add it, like, they didn't do too much, because they were focusing on, on Ultimate Team, and when they did focus on career mode, they chose player career mode, and they created this whole Alex Hunter storyline that took time away from the career mode we wanted upgrade, which was manager career mode. Now, I have nothing against player career mode. Personally, I find it's too slow. It, like, drags on, uh, personally. Anytime I play a player career mode, I'm bored of it in, like, a month into the career. Um... But with manager career mode, it just seems a lot faster. I don't know. Maybe that's something EA should look into. Because like, even with the out, even with Alex Hunter, it did kind of seem to go faster. But the career was a lot shorter because like it seemingly flew by. Because it was like play a couple of matches, then you're done. So, like okay, just gonna. Pretend like a lot of the season doesn't exist. Okay. But yeah, that was pretty much all they did for Career Mode. But then yesterday, they finally, finally made it right. Well, they they started. This, what they announced yesterday, the changes, the new additions. Need to don't they they have to be the norm. They, this has to be the new norm for EA going forward. They can't just suddenly ignore career mode when next year comes around. They need to build on this. So we're not asking for as much as they really uh, re revealed yesterday. Like just build on what you revealed yesterday. And we will be happy just seeing that you still care about career mode because it really feels like you don't. And that's because you didn't. You really didn't. Like, and the reason they've, they've come out and they've finally did something, I feel like, is because they think people are getting sick because they were. I was, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I wasn't. I personally stopped uploading because I just couldn't give a shit. I was like, I'm not giving EA the free advertisement and playing their game on YouTube for um for the crowd when 
all I'm doing is free advertising, pretty much. That's like, and that that's the whole thing with copyright, like stuff with like Nintendo games with Pokemon, like because Nintendo were like restrict on copyright stuff. That's from my here, um, it's just like it's not. I I don't understand the co games getting co people playing video games on on YouTube is getting copyright struck. Um, because I mean, if if someone is playing a game and like they say, "Oh, this game is amazing," people who not played that game will be like, "Huh, maybe I'll get that game and try it." That's a couple more sales. Free advertising. What are you doing? You're not paying these people. Well, some some creators are paid, paid, but and sponsor and stuff like that. But that's fine. Still, but there are so many people who do it. It you're probably getting an extra hundreds. It to you probably get hundreds of sales. From people watching their favorite YouTubers playing a certain game and thinking, well, they liked this game. Maybe I'd like this game as well. Well, I personally have. Like, I personally remember that I had never heard of the Batman and Arkham Asylum game. I'd never heard of it. And then I saw it on YouTube. I saw a prayer playing it. I was like, Holy crap, that's a Batman game, and it looks really good, and this guy is really enjoying playing it, because you can tell in his voice, he's just loving it. And then I played, and then when I heard City was a thing, I was like, yes, please give me that, and then night. So it, it really, really, like, the free advertising is such a big thing, and like, Treating a game with respect and treating the people who love a certain aspect of the game is so, it's so key, you know? It's, it's, it really is. Cause like, the people who love career mode were getting tired. We were. A lot of people had either stopped playing FIFA or just not giving. Shit, like playing it a couple months and then getting bored. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing Football Manager because that game is specifically based around career mode, or well, manager mode, pretty much, just without the playing, personally. I think that's much better because that's pretty much what you're supposed to be doing, like. Ah, uh, uh. but they are they they clearly realize that people have been flocking to fucking football manager because they're blatantly stealing ideas from football manager. Don't pretend like they aren't. They are the morale, the press conferences, having different like styles. You can answer a question and. With, all the good things you think yesterday was totally positive. Then you see the fucking idiots and the scum. Oh my god. Here come the fucking keyboard warriors complaining that you can be a woman. Because, of course, why wouldn't. Like, because, of course. Because there's no men out there who are, who are like, who have women who are the bosses of the house. There's, there's men out there who fucking love that shit it's, and fucking are aroused by that shit. And... If you're wondering why I'm swearing, I always swear. If you've never seen me before, if you just randomly found this video, I swear a lot. And my channel's been demonetized, so 
Yeah, fuck you, YouTube. You can't take money away from me because you already did. I wasn't getting paid anyway, so. But, so, oh my god, the keyboard warriors need to shut the fuck up. It doesn't matter if the. If there's. If it's a woman, it doesn't matter. This is 2019. Hmm, there is no such thing as. Well, there are still certain jobs, but. Like, they are specific, like, oh, I'm trying to think of one. I'm trying to think of one, and I don't want to look like a dick. Um, I don't know. This, there has to be. I'm, I'm sure there is. I'm, I just can't think of one off the top of my head. I'm, I'm thinking, like, certain... Like royal roles, but those aren't really jobs. I don't know, mate. If there isn't, I'm I'm not sure. Cause like, like every every job that you think, oh man, does that job. Like a lot of people will think, oh, if you hear the like. Probably the most ones are like something like a doctor. You know, there are plenty of women doctors. There's, you, like, there's probably guys out, there's probably idiots out there who think, oh, only men can be doctors. Women are nurses. These are the kind of idiots that surfaced yesterday to fucking spout their bullshit and just just reveal that they are the scum of the earth. Some of the scum of the earth, to be honest. Uh, that... Oh, we can't have women in football. You know there are women football teams. Hmm? Well. Hmm? Look, are there a lot of women in, in football? Well, in terms of the men games? No, no. Oh, but just it's just the option it's an option because there are women who play FIFA like one of like there's a, a, a female oh, uh, FIFA player named Fax anyone who know, who watches FIFA on YouTube knows that name hmm. instantly knows who I'm talking about. If she wanted to play career mode, she probably wouldn't want to play as a man. Wouldn't you think she might like to create her own herself instead of playing as a man? Like, or it gives people options. Like, like, like a friend of mine texted me yesterday that he was going to... Uh, uh, be a female manager just for the crack, just to see if it's any different than constantly being stuck as a male. Because you've, you've been able to be a female in football manager for years, I think. Like, I've only recently started playing it, but I, I, re I, sing, I remember like my first football manager was like 15, and you could be a female in that. It's four years at least four years it's going on five it's going on five it'll be going on five later this year or or when football manager 20 comes out it is it is mind-boggling that people are still treating women like second class as like they don't belong in a certain thing like it's so stupid it's so stupid we are all human we are all human and we all just want can we all just get along can we all just think you know what if they're in there that's not it doesn't affect anything about you it doesn't 
And if you think it does, you're a fucking imbecile. You are an idiot. You don't deserve to breed air that we all breed. You don't deserve it because you don't you don't deserve to be labeled a human because you are below the rest of us. To say that women don't be, that you know that there shouldn't be a choice to be a woman. You know what? No one is forcing you to pick a woman. Just because the option is there doesn't mean you have to pick it. It's not like no. I can't imagine PlayStation and Xbox saying, you know what, let's have achievements and trophies saying, win this as a woman manager. I doubt that. Maybe there will be. I don't know. I can't foresee the future. Or otherwise I'd be a millionaire. But I very much doubt they're going to do that. There might be trophies for the women's football. Which, as far as I'm aware, is still a thing, because I haven't heard anything of it being removed, and I don't know why it would be. But there's not going to be anything. Like, there might be some tr trophies for career mode, but there won't be any specifically tailored to a woman being a woman or being a man. It'll be like, win the Premier League, or win the Champions League, or win something. It'll be pretty much what it has always been. There'll always be like one or two who, who like ha make handful at most career mode based trophies that you can get. It won't matter. So if like I don't know if these people are like concerned, maybe that's what the problem is. But I th I think it's just them being fucking dicks. I think it's just these people being dicks. Like, doesn't fucking matter. We're getting good stuff. And this is progression. We want this to be the new norm. We want EA to see that we are, are full on accepting and right behind them with this idea. We're like, yes, EA, this is great. It lead the way. Please don't veer from the path. Don't stray from the path. Don't go off in your own direction. I hope next year, I hope, 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 in 2020, I hope when we are talking about FIFA 21, I hope I can come on here and say, yeah, he stayed on the path. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, EA. FIFA 20 looks really good. FIFA 20 has gotten me interested. I'm actually going to buy FIFA 20. I wasn't going to buy it. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't going to buy FIFA 20. But. I am. I am. Because I see what. I see that EA have put effort in. And I am going to reward that. But I'm still cautious. And next year, hopefully, I'll be saying I'm going to be buying FIFA 21 and that EA have changed. No, no one's saying that they have to stop focusing on Ultimate Team. Unless loot, unless their loot boxes are fucking banned and, and they aren't going to stop. Just because you focus on an ultimate team doesn't mean career mode should be forgotten about and treated like dirt. You know? It just shouldn't be. So hopefully, EA will, will see that the positivity outweighs the negativity. Fuck those idiots who are saying in, in the bad that who are complaining about, oh, they're being women managers. Because fuck that. They don't deserve the game anyway. In fact, find those people and ban them from ever buying a FIFA game again. Because if they are 
a minority of idiots who don't deserve to play the game. If they're complaining about the minus, a minor detail that has, that you can play a, a fucking manager who has a vagina instead of a dick. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And, and hopefully EA will, will continue this and lead on into the future and progress as to the next step and take more or, or take the next leap, you know. And, and I will cautiously he he say, you know what, EA, you're gonna buy FIFA 20, but it, if this is a one-off, we are, we as a community who play career mode, not just me, others will be like, you went, you did so well, and then you're like, nah, just got to shut up for a while. We won't shut up, because we want the, we buy your game to play career mode. The people who play career mode, some of them don't play Ultimate Team. I, I haven't touched Ultimate Team in two years. Here's. 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 It's just we need to be more focused. We need EA to realize that career mode sells them copies. And we need them to realize, okay, let's not ignore career mode anymore. Let's embrace the career mode is part of our game. It's been part of our game for years and years longer than Ultimate Team. Let's we don't we're not, we're not expecting this kind of improvements every year or just build on what you've done this year, next year, and there won't be any complaints. But like I said, it's going to be totally up to EA. But for right now, EA, good job. And I hope you keep this up next year.